process flow diagram is a simple drawing that shows the relationship between major equipment in process plant using equipment symbols and shows the primary process flow path of a unit. You can visualize the flow of material within the plant with the help of this drawing. What is the use of PFD? A process flow diagram provides a quick overview of entire operating unit or a system. A technician or engineer can use this document to trace the flow of the material through the unit. The flow diagram is also used for the visitor information and new employee training. It is one of the core documents to draw the plot plan and PNID. What information does PFD provide? A typical PFD will include all major equipment. Each equipment shown on PFD has a unique equipment number and a descriptive name. It also shows main dimension capacity and operating information of the equipment. Second is process flow stream or interconnected piping. PFD follows left-right approach for the process flow. That means any process stream enter or exit either from right or left. However, please note that this left-right approach is not a mandatory requirement but good engineering practice. All process flow stream shown on PFD will have an identification number, a description of the process condition and chemical composition of each stream such as pressure, temperature, density, mass flow rate and mass energy balance will included in PFD. This data will be either displayed directly on PFD or included in the flow summary table. Sometime it also shown minimum, normal and maximum value of these process parameters. Next is process flow direction of all process line, control wall and process critical wall, major bypass and recirculation system and connection with other system. What is not included in PFD? Pipe class and pipeline numbers process control instruments, minor bypass wall, isolation and shut-off wall, maintenance vents and drains, relief walls and safety walls, and code class information. You must be thinking, if this information are not here, then where they are? Well, these informations are covered in PNID, which is more complex drawing than PFD. You will learn about PNID in next video. To read PFD, PFS, PNID, PFS, ISO and GA drawing, knowing the various symbol for equipment, wall and instrument is a must. So now look at this PFS or PFD. Well, both are same. You can see the PFS of OSBL part of plant fuel oil and slope tank. Let's check the equipment that are used in this system. Here you can see the tank, pumps, exchanger, vessel, strainer and jet mixture. On the top of any PFD, you can see the list of all the major equipment along with its size and capacity. All the main process line are shown as a dark black line and the thin black line are minor process line. Arrowheads on the line show the direction of the flow. Fuel oil is coming from the other ISBL unit. You can see the incoming arrow with the dark head. If there is no dark head and a simple arrow is there like this, it means the line is coming from the same unit. You can see the battery limit between OSBL and ISBL. This process stream is numbered as a 1 for which detail is given in the table below. Square box with the number inside will give you the process stream number. Square box with the letter inside means it refers to other service and for the detail of that stream you have to refer to the PFD of that process. Here. 
SL means stream line and CL means condensate line. This is generic symbol of wall. If you want to know the exact type of the wall, you have to check the PNID. The letters NC means normally close. That means this wall remain closed during normal operation. Now look at this loop. This is circulation loop. Fuel oil from the tank is supplied to the pump which is passed through the heat exchanger and returned to the tank. You have to maintain the temperature of the fuel oil otherwise it will get thick and choke the line and also settle in the tank. You can see that there are two control valves are shown in this loop. One will maintain the temperature by controlling the steam and the second will maintain the flow. The symbols of the wall is generic symbol of the remotely actuated wall. It can be hydraulic, pneumatic or motor operated type. If see this detail of pump. Recycle pump has a head of 60 meters and the plant fuel oil has a head of 216 meters. This must be a huge pump. Let's look where they are on PFD. Let me adjust the PFD on the screen so that we can conclude our video. Oh, these pumps are turbine driven. That means these are critical pumps. Normally, turbine driven pumps are provided where you want to run the pump even if there is a total power failure in your plant. Here, we have a two basket strainer, one on a suction side and other on a pump discharge side. And we also have a heat exchanger to maintain the temperature of the fuel oil. The suction strainer will protect the pump impeller from any foreign object that can damage the pump. And the discharge strainer will ensure the clean supply to the user unit. You can see the temperature control loop also. Here you can see the battery limit of ISBL and OSBL. Fuel oil is supplied to various ISBL units furnaces. On ISBL side, you can see that one pressure control wall is given, which ensure constant pressure in the fuel oil loop. Now, let's look at the stream table. Lots of process parameters such as pressure, temperature, flow rate and other details are given in this table. Have a look on it. This is all about PFD. You have learned almost all detail that PFD provides. In next video, I will explain you about the PNID. Visit my website hardatengineer.com to download free study materials and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular updates on new video. And also like and share my video with your friends. If you want to request a video, please write in the comment. See you soon. Goodbye. Take care.